Well, many people had hoped to keep their mail local and stop the closure of the Pocatello mail processing plant, but just one month from its scheduled closure, it is looking like efforts to save it are failing. Eyewitness News reporter Luke Jones is live tonight at the processing center. Luke, what are people saying now? Well, not a lot of good things, Todd. In fact, city leaders held a town hall meeting on this very subject tonight. A lot of people worried about possible delivery delays. Others just say this could have a crushing effect on the local economy. It was a packed house tonight at Pocatello City Council Chambers. Citizens, business owners, and elected leaders all concerned about one thing. How often do we get our mail? Starting next month, the U.S. Postal Service will stop processing mail at this Flandreau Drive office and instead send it to Salt Lake City. Postal workers say it'll cost them 56 jobs. When a job is lost in the community, you know there's a ripple down the back. Other jobs are lost. Today, there was a constant stream of customers at the processing center, none very happy. That's crazy. That's crazy. To hear their mail will be diverted to Salt Lake. Why would they do something incorrectly when this is working correctly? It's part of a plan to consolidate 82 processing centers nationwide. The Postal Service says it'll save $750 million. How does it save time and money when they have to send it clear down to Salt Lake for it to just come right back here? Postal leaders say it'll still take only two days to send a letter, but not everyone's convinced. That's absolutely not correct. Uh, it's The delay has been uh, three to five days. I think it's ridiculous myself, but... Uh, I've never won a war against any kind of government entity yet. Now, two Bannock County commissioners have already made the trip to Washington to meet with the Postal Commission in hopes of stopping the closure, but they've had no luck so far, and tonight city leaders spoke about possible retribution from Washington for resisting this. Live in Pocatello tonight, I'm Luke Jones. All right, Luke, thanks. Once the processing center closes, the post office part of it itself will remain open.